hold tight till the end. Now this is to uh, my my, uh, my uh, New Year's mix. Uh, some UFO lights out was playing at the moment. I've got an eclectic mix. There, there's some party tunes, mostly upbeat stuff, songs that I want to hear. So <laughs> it might not be mixed for you, uh, but I like it anyway. <laughs> so um, I, I have the the Boulevard 30th anniversary ale that I did a video for with just that. And I wanted to pair a whiskey with it. So when I was tasting this whiskey before, tasting this, whiskey, tasting this beer before, uh, it is a blend of uh, various barreled imperial stouts blended with various barreled uh, Belgian dark ales. And the flavor I was getting the most was like that of a, of a cherry cordial. You know, I have, a, of, you know, the dark chocolate with the, you know, slightly tart cherry notes. So I decided to pair with my Jay Rieger's J. Rieger's Kansas City Whiskey, which uses a little bit of Oloroso Sherry, which has some very deep fruit notes. But this particular blend of J. Rieger's also has, um, or is also aged, or is finished in Laird's Applejack Barrels. It was a Macadoodle store pick. Adjust my camera just a touch there. Anyway, uh, anyway, I digress. It always changes when I hit the start, but anyway. So I thought the, the two flavors and aromas w would work well together. Not necessarily have the same flavors and aromas, but be compatible and complement each other. That's just a beautiful whiskey. Yeah, I, was, I thought about using my, my Tomstown Pendergast Royal Gold, which I think would have worked with this too. But I thought, no, nah, I want to try this one. I think this particular whiskey is a little has has these beautiful spice notes in the finish, which is another reason I wanted to pair with this beer because it is, it is a very decadent, rich, and slightly sweet beer. The Jay Riggers has a lot of flavor anyway, but the addition of those Applejack barrels just takes it to, I mean, it just takes it somewhere else. For just a little bit of time, it's going to take me, a, you know, several hours <laughs> to get through this 30th anniversary. I'm not going to hammer it down. It's not what you do with a beer like this. It pours so beautifully. Uh, it, it's very dark, and you've got that, that mocha-like head on it. That just sits there so beautifully using my uh, Brew Lab taster that I picked up at Brew Lab when I was there. So I gotta adjust that just a touch again. There we go. So I'm not really in this beautiful Irish pub behind me. It is, it is a picture on my television set. Uh, but I like to have a background. You know, work with me. We use our imagination, you know. <laughs> like the Mr. Rogers of people that like to drink. <laughs> Come on. Welcome to my neighborhood. Anyway. <laughs> So I let this sit a little bit, and I am getting some different flavors and aromas now that I was getting before. However, I am still left with that, that cherry cordial-like vibe, you know, especially in the finish. You really feel like that slight cherry tartness, uh, again, with, with these beautiful dark chocolate notes, with a combination of, of the imperial stouts with the with the Belgian dark ales, again, and it's aged in just everything. <laughs> Bourbon barrels, uh, port barrels, sherry barrels. I picked it up uh, about three months ago when we were in Kansas City, and quite frankly, it was a little pricey. I don't remember the exact price now. I just remember thinking it was a little pricey, but again, we were on vacation, so I figured why not, and I picked it up. But honestly, I wish I'd have picked up two bottles, one to, because I knew I wanted to drink one eventually, <laughs> uh, but one to kind of sit on for a while, or, you know, maybe have it sit a year and check it out next year, but say lovey. Lovey. Anyway, uh, I digress.
using some whiskey glasses I got at an office Christmas party this year. I mean, I made out like a freaking bitch <laughs> at office Christmas parties. It was the best office Christmas party set for me. So for the for the well for the entire workplace, there was there was a, a you know a, a company Christmas party uh, there at the office, and uh, the gentleman that that uh, that drew my name, uh, Chris, it, it got me this beautiful decanter. Um, that had uh, came with six glasses, but then for my other Christmas party for our immediate office, smaller off, you know, off site, so we were able to drink. Uh, yeah, I, I got uh, it was a set with some whiskey stones, uh, and but eight whiskey stones that came with the two glasses. It was very nice glasses. They're not identical to my other glasses, but they they work well together. It, it, it looks like they all belong. So anyway. Well, the others are, are about the size more of a rocks glass. This is a perfect glass for drinking neat or whiskey stones. But uh, for this particular, I, I may do some whiskey stones later, but uh, I, I wanted just to have some neat with this beer here. Uh, I poured it exactly an ounce and a half. I've, I've got a Jameson glass that, that, that holds an ounce and a half right on the button. But again, this has a lot of those those same fruit notes, uh, uh, cherry, certainly apple, uh, 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 raisin, dates. Uh, there's just a lot going on here. But but what's brilliant about it is is, is that finish, uh, the, that beautiful toasted oak, and a whole lot of spice, a lot of baking spice, a combination of, 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 of cinnamon, allspice, uh, uh, clove. Uh, you might find some cardamom in there as well. There's just a lot going on. It's absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, I take a drink of beer here. We'll get ready to wrap this one up. And I'll kick my music back on and get festive. It's just the wife and I. It's going to be, you know, we're not exactly partying down, but, <laughs> but I don't put clothes on either. Uh, I do have a shirt on. Uh, so it looks like I'm dressed, but uh, under this, I'm just wearing my Guinness jammies underneath. Sometimes I'm just in my underwear, but I am wearing my Guinness jammies. Oh. Yeah, every time I take a drink, I think, man, I wish I'd have bought two of these. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, at the time I picked it up, uh, it wasn't available here in Springfield. When we got back, uh, I think it was about a week or so later, I found it in some stores. I'm sure it's gone now. Um, but I hadn't popped that bottle. My intent was to just hang on to it and, and drink it on New Year's Eve, which is what I'm doing. Had I two of them? Well, quite frankly, in all honesty, if I'd have bought two bottles, I'd have drank one already. I don't mean <laughs> I'd have had one if I'd be saving this one for New Year's. <laughs> so anyway, but I did use some restraint. I mean, I've been sitting on this bottle for three months, man. <laughs> and I'm not so unnecessarily known for their patience either. I had some chicken wings earlier. Uh, I kind of buffaloed mine up. They were breaded wing. I, I bought a package that we were uh, pecan smoked or breaded wings. Uh, I typically eat a naked wing, but we, we thought, well, what the hell? We'll try these, see if they're any good. And they're actually not bad, but I, uh, you know, I, I made some, you know, restaurant style buffalo style. Uh, yeah, I took took my franks and add some butter to it, and just kind of melted it slowly. I did add a little bit of uh, some other seasoning to, to heat it up a little bit, but. Uh, Oh, it's brilliant. Nice and nice and smooth, creamy sauce. Oh, beautiful. Uh, buffalo the heck out of one. And I had some uh, for Christmas. I got some uh, uh, Jim Beam uh, bold and spicy barbecue sauce. So I did I, I did one with the with the bean barbecue, uh, two buffalo. Had some blue cheese on the side. It was gorgeous. So anyway, and now I thought it was time for some whiskey, a little more beer. So there you go. I'm telling the whiskey whisper, whiskey evangelist, prolific whiskey drinker, purveyor was the man. Oh, that stuff is amazing. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if they've got any left. I, so I, I was involved in the picking of this particular bottle. So I, when it when it became available, I went out and bought a bottle of it. Um, it's not exactly on the cheap side. Uh, for You know, it's a 100-proof specialty uh, 
Yes, we. Um, but it's absolutely brilliant. And it's not out of the realm, you know, for other, other, you know, 100 proof whiskeys of the same caliber. It's not priced uh, any higher than. And it did go perfect with this beer. I was right. But yes, there's a lot of other aromas and flavors going on here. But again, I, I just feel like I'm getting that that big, uh, uh, you know, the, that that cherry cordial like 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 a, a flavor from it. So there you go. I am Tommy Beer Whisper, Beer Evangelist, prolific beer drinker, for Beer Whisper man. Ah, cheese biscuits and gravy. That was good. All right, good guy. Cheers.